Okay, exactly the same exercise again, but we're just going to now do the running balance. So, the differences are that we've got our debits and credits here and we keep this what's called a running balance here. Now, the normal balance of our cash at bank is debit. So mostly this will be a debit column. So let's run through it again. October 1st, my transaction was with share capital. So I'm, once again, I'm putting my share capital information here. My post reference for share capital was account number 300. And because I was increasing my cash, it's a debit balance. That means that my balance is 10,000. So this is my running balance here, and it's a 10,000 debit. My next transaction was my loan, set once again on the 1st of October. Bank loan. My bank loan account was 230 and it was for $5,000 debit. So that made my running balance 15000 and that's a debit as well. We're now, our next transaction was a cash decrease, which was our office equipment. My office equipment and my office equipment account number was 130. And this time it's a credit balance of 5,000. Oh, not a credit balance, but a credit item which reduces my balance to 10,000, but it's still in debit. So, I've transacted those first three. Next one is I received some money from a customer in advance for 1,200 on the second as well. I'm going to abbreviate revenue in advance. My revenue in advance account was 213 and it was for 1200 which means that I now got 11200 in my account. Still debit balance. All right, cash services or cash for revenue or received in advance services revenue. Services revenue, what was my account number? I think it was 400. And this time it was for 10,000. Which means that now I've got 21,200 in my account. Next item was rent expense on the 3rd of October as well. My rent expense account number was, what was my rent expense account number? I can't remember. 510. Five, 510, thank you. Uh, and it's a, it's a credit, so it's 900 out, which makes my balance 20,300. And it's still debit. Fourth, I've got another cash decrease or credit to my cash account for prepaid insurance. It's abbreviated. What was my insur prepaid insurance account number? 112. And it was for 600, which means that I now have 19,700 in my bank account. Still debit. I have uh, got no appetite, that's not included because there's no cash transaction in there. I've got some dividends, so on the 20th of October I've paid some dividends. My dividends account number was 320 and it was for 500, which leaves me with 19,200 in my bank account. And my last transaction is I paid some salaries on the 26th. Uh, 
Uh, my salary's account number was 500 and it was for $4,000. So that made my running balance 15200 And that's debit. Why is it debit? Why is it debit? Yeah, okay. Because this is the balance of the account, yeah. not the transaction. So this is my transaction. My transaction is credit. So there's a credit to my cash, but it just reduces the balance. And because my normal balance is debit, unless I have minus money in the bank, so unless I go into what's called overdraft, this will always be a debit balance. Yeah, good question. Anyone else got any questions in relation to the running balance? No? Cool.